today what we're going to do is we're going to make some potato salad. But we're not going to do the normal potato salad. We're going to do a potato salad without mayonnaise. But uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be without flavor. We're going to make sure we have plenty of flavor in the potato salad. First thing we need for potato salad is we need some cooked potatoes. So I got one pound of those little red potatoes here. I'm going to put them in some boiling water and I'm going to cook them until they're done. This should take about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so while our potatoes are cooking, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our sauce. I'm going to take one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. One tablespoon of stone ground mustard. One tablespoon of olive oil. I've got a teaspoon of thyme and a tablespoon of chives. Now if you notice I got a little bit extra over there because I'm going to use that to garnish my final dish with. And we're going to mix this up and let it rest or come together while the potatoes are cooking. Well, let's check our potatoes. Knife goes in and they come off. So basically they're done. You can cook them a little bit more if you want to make them soft, but I'm not really looking. I want them to be kind of firm. And they'll continue to cook just a little bit with the heat that they're retaining. Now we're going to take and put these on a plate and we're going to let them cool off enough to where we can handle them. We're not going to cool them off completely because this is going to be a warm dish. All right, so now my potatoes, they're still pretty hot. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start cutting these up. Now, how big you cut them up, that's up to you. But I want to cut these up in kind of reasonably sized pieces. Something like that. Anyway, I'll finish cutting these up and I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, so we're going to need some salt and pepper. A little more salt. Nice generous amount of black pepper. Give these a stir. And we're going to hit them with the salt one more time. Sure, these are kind of breaking apart. Get that guy right there. Starches are kind of holding it together. Then we're going to take our sauce and we'll put all this in here. Give this a good mix. And it's going to be ready to serve. Cut it on the plate. We're going to hit it with a few more chives. A little more thyme. And I want to hit it with a little black pepper. Another little tiny pinch of salt. And it's ready to serve just like that. So, how does it taste? Hmm. Yeah, sauce is really good.